The day he launched on earth marked the death of mankind. When he was cast down on earth, we were all not prepared. Like the uncontrolled shame of destruction, he was he and his army of immortal demons fell right at the center of our land. Chained and bruised from the fall, he roared with the love for destruction within the hearts of them who had welcomed darkness. His presence was felt in all corners of the land of the grave. Mountains of promises that had come down, the fevers falling down to the enemies, candles of wet spitting fires like untamed dragons, swords stabbing their owners in the bag and the sun, and the sun was only for nice to spell out and fulfill promises of absolute terror and destructions the rumbling back stomachs of oceans and seas started throwing up sharks and lost treasures heavy wings whistling chords of agony trees and dancing to the melancholy of the deserts the deserts deserts rejoicing the doom of dust in the eyes of the faint creature swing souls Thunderstorms breaking hearts, skies weeping for the unborn offspring, supported in our land by his colorful serpents, the epitome of destruction was home. And I, I was standing at the peak of Mount Nemo, guarded by the single eye of Moses, his spot, his soil, his bones were sweating dust of tension, and his soul went into the plains of the valley of the promised land, and for the last time, for the last time, I looked down at the land of the brave, and I saw how the souls hanging by the roofs of Valhalla, maggots and ravens feasting on the so-called brave bodies floating in the overflowing swamps of tears and blood, and I felt unsettled rivers flowing in my veins, cutting across the sockets of my eyes, and fire giants, fire giants burning to ashes, the only beautiful memories I had of this land, and that is where I landed. That is when I left from the twilight of his terror, but the land of the brave was never our stream Herod. It was never promised to a single soul hanging in the roofs of Valhalla. The epitome of destruction was just reconstructing his promised land, and every soul, every soul that he came across was just collateral damage. The time of his destruction was a living sign that we were all strangers in the land of the brave. Our souls, our souls belong to some place else. A place we had long given our backs to, that our happiness, our happiness was not written in the rocks and rivers of the land of the brave, it was written in the flesh and stars of some place else. And that's it. That, my friend, was not the land of the brave. Jerusalem is where the soul of Moses was pointing to all alone for us to be saved. Jerusalem is where the soul of Moses was pointing to all alone for us to be saved, but we never listened. We never listened. We chose to abandon the only word that made us. We led ourselves to be the victims of our desires. We led ourselves to be deceived by our waywardness. So, brothers. by the fallen and the ink has long dried and it is time for you to look deep inside yourself and you shall find a divine and an amazing eternity with its arms wide 
Jerusalem. Promise that.